So the first step is to put the mesh sock onto the uh, PVC center tube that you can see here. That sock is clamped to the end of the tube with uh, electrical tape. And there's actually two layers of electrical tape, one on the inside and then the mesh sock itself, then one on the outside, and that's all to protect and to make sure it's going to stay uh, on there tight. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and put this, this tube with mesh sock on it into a packing tube. This packing tube is a Schedule 80 uh, PVC pipe. It's uh, a bit smaller than standard 2-inch PVC pipe, and the reason for that is that we're going to put a protective mesh on the outside of this. You'll see that a bit later. So what I'm going to do is run this mesh sock into here, and then I'm going to uh, kind of peel it back, peel it back around the edges, and then uh, and slide that uh, on down the outside of the pipe. So basically invert it around the outside. And then when I do that, I'll kind of pull it down until this starts to come up. And I'll leave that about three inches high. Now, the first step will be to insert a eighth inch thick rubber washer. I'll put that on here, get it started, and then I'll use a packing tube that larger diameter that will go around the outside of that. And I'll use it to push that all the way down to the bottom of the sock. I'll pull that out and now the, uh, the sock is opened up and ready to pack with carbon. Prior to doing that I'm going to put a, uh, a small cap on the top of this just to seal it so the carbon doesn't fall inside of that tube and then I'm going to put a, uh, a plastic funnel. These are automotive uh, for filling your car with oil that we found they work the best because they're a very narrow tapered uh, funnel. I have a container here with the activated carbon that's been um, pre-equilibrated with tracers on it and so it's also wet. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and scoop in here and pull out some of the carbon and see. And I'm going to fill this plastic beaker uh, a little bit overflowing so you can see it with the uh, activated carbon. So I'm going to take this and we're going to move right over here and pour it in. And then I'm going to take a vibrator, you can hear it, and vibrate that, and you should be able to see the carbon falling in. So go ahead and look down at the bottom of this, I'll pick it up a bit, and you can see the carbon in here, get it to settle. Now that we've packed one layer of activated carbon in there, uh, approximately one foot thick, uh, we're going to separate that from the next one with a, a bit thinner, a six, th 16th inch thick uh, rubber washer. So I'll pull this off and put that right over the top. Kind of get it started as usual. And again, use my uh, long packing stick to run that washer down in there. Now here I'll tap that down fairly tight and a few times to compress and compact that area. I'm going to go ahead and lift this up so you can see it. And so right now we've got uh, this segment here of activated carbon packed. All right, now that we've packed the, the five foot long flux meter completely full of activated carbon, you can see that the carbon is right up to the, near the top of the uh, packing tube. We're ready for the final top washer. So I'll slide that in and get that down onto the top of the carbon. And then the next thing that goes in is a sponge that we've cut. Uh, to fit. That'll fit in there tightly. The reason for that is to prevent carbon from uh, my moving up through uh, the outside of that system. At this point I'll take the uh, little copper cap off and now we're ready to put on the uh, component that we're going to attach the sock to. This top part is built of a short segment of PVC that has wire meshed through it and it's very very strong. This is what's going to actually pull the flex meter back out of the well after the deployment. So that goes over, slides over there. You can see that it slides loosely on there. And now I'm ready to take the sock and pull it back up above this. I'm going to use electrical tape. And I'm going to just wrap this right around the outside. And I'm going to take this and go maybe uh, uh, two or three times around here. And get a, a nice thorough uh, protective uh, layer of tape on top. 
top of there. Why? Because we're going to be putting a clamp on there and clamping that down. We don't want it to tear the sock. So at this point, we're ready to uh, extrude the passive flux meter from this pipe and put it into a two inch pipe. All right, the next step in this process is a pretty critical one. We're going to take this uh, red mesh material and we're going to put it over the outside of the passive flux meter so that it's a protective uh, outer uh, material. Now to do that, we need to take this red mesh and put it over the packing pipe. I'll show you how to do that. And then we're going to connect it and we'll extrude that back out and you'll see then that it becomes wrapped in the red mesh. So let's go ahead. First step is to take this uh, fairly carefully and uh, slide it uh, back up over the outside of the pipe. Now this is down at the bottom end of the PFM and that's where we're going to make the connection. And so I'm just sliding this up until it's all the way like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab the flex meter and slide it out just a little bit so this is exposed. And then I'm going to take this clamp off using a nut driver and loosen the clamp and take it off like that. Then what I'm going to do is take that red mesh and push it back over here. It's, this can be fairly approximate. And I'm going to take this and put electrical tape over it. Now it's pretty important that you tape this right on top of the other layer of tape that was uh, below that. And I wrapped it about twice, bring the clamp back over, the one I just took off, open it up a bit, and put it back on, that it will, uh, it will clamp down and hold the, uh, the red mesh and the white mesh that's inside. You can't really see it in place. This is pretty critical that this piece be tightened very tight. So when I pull that out, you're going to see that the red mesh is now on the outside of the passive flux meter. All right, we have the passive flux meter laying on the ground right now, and we're ready to push it out of the packing tube, this Schedule 80 tube, and into a 2-inch at the same time uh, wrapping the red mesh around the outside. So in order to push it out of here, I'm going to need a push rod which I've got here, which is just a threaded rod with a wing nut, and I'm going to work it inside of here, and it may not be easy to see, but I'm going to push it right into the center tube at the top of the passive flux meter. So now it's in a position that I can actually uh, push it and extrude it from this tube. Right now, we're going to extrude. You'll see as I push the rod that you saw a minute ago, that the red mesh starts to wrap around there, and then it's going to feed right into the uh, to the two inch tube that's there. You can see that getting pushed into there. And then we just extrude it all the way through into the two inch tube. All right, we're ready to do, make the final connection to put the final clamp on the top of the passive flux meter. This is a very critical step. As you can imagine, if this, if this part were to fail or come apart, uh, it'd be pretty hard to get the flux meter back out of the well. So what I'm gonna do once again is tape this with electrical tape, two or three wraps, and uh, about an inch wide, and so that is all right over that top clamp. And so we're gonna slide a clamp through here, pull the extra mesh out of there, and then slide this clamp over the taped area. Now, when I tighten this clamp down, it'll be clamping down on that short section of PVC that we saw earlier. So once again, just like the clamp at the bottom, I'm going to tighten this down as tight as I can, and uh, it's very critical that this not fail. The last thing I'll do is to tape this over, or apply a layer of tape over the top of this clamp, and I'll just wrap it around maybe two or three times. And the reason for doing that is that we want to make sure that clamp doesn't uh, get caught on some of the cables and other things that will go into the well. The last step is to go ahead and take a pair of scissors and cut this excess mesh off the top. All right, the final design of the passive flux meter looks something like this, where we have the red mesh over the top of this, and you can see through this clear plastic tube that it's a fairly nice, uh, not tight, but a snug fit inside of the two inch well screen. This is a two inch Schedule 40 PVC, and we've got this all clamped down at the top so that we can push it in with the center tube, it can push that down in, and then we're ready to pull it out, we'll retrieve it with the uh, cable. Now we're ready to go and install in the field.